know the drill. I am still all sorts of losing my voice. Thanks to my lovely decrepit sinuses. So, you know, we got that going. <clears throat> that hasn't changed much. Everyone's doing all right. And your weekend has gone pretty good. Hopefully. I am running behind as usual. So that's nothing new. I was having trouble deciding what color paint I wanted today. So we have our reference photo. Down here in the corner. If he gets to be too obnoxious, we can shrink him down a bit, but <clears throat> Excuse me. We will see if it comes to that. Alright, so first things first, I actually want to get started on our leggies here. So I'm gonna flip you this way. And um the legs are kind of a strange color. They're almost like a pinkish gray. So um, that's what we're going to do. I've got uh, rainy day gray and I've got this princess pink. It's, it's so light it almost looks like a like a lilac or something. That's not... Let's not have a, a mishap, shall we? Oh, this one's goopy. Alright. Sometimes when they get older, he will do this. It's just the nature of it. It's usually not too terrible. You do have to get in there with your fingers and uh, pull it out if it's being stubborn. Alright, now I don't know if I have used this color yet. Don't know. So we're going to make sure we shake it really good. Hey Zorts! How are you? It should be... Um... Emote should be, emote only should be off. There it is. Okay. Chilling before work. Cool, cool. Oh, I might have used it for something. Alright, let me really, that was probably too much. Oh, that's not a bad shade. Alright, it looks much different out of the model. Alright, so I'm going to work on our feet here first. 
Uh, I'm okay. Sinuses are pissed as usual because it rained a little bit. It's been raining. Oh gosh, it's been raining off and on since Thursday. I want to say. Um, I'm almost done stream prep for Wednesday. Not quite. I probably have about two more hours of stream prep to go for that. Um, I got done an article that we needed to get done for the website yesterday. Uh, for the WoW Challenges website. Russell was trying to teach me how to do something in Creta. And uh, I probably don't remember how to do it. Because um, it's not something I use all the time. That particular um, thing. But uh, he definitely made a valiant effort considering I was fighting a headache at the time. So that was fun. I haven't had the time to get back into Alpha to do testing. Uh, I've been so busy. But this week we will have hopefully one less... This coming week we'll have one less challenger to stream prep. And then I'll be able to get back into testing. I still don't know if we can stream testing. I feel like we can. But I'll probably be too engrossed in taking notes and it's probably going to be more of me taking notes bitching than, um, <laughs> than anything meaningful happening. Oh, no problem. done in our Minecraft game off of stream. I was just farming cows, so I really didn't think anybody was going to care too much about missing out on that. I still need a ton of leather. Gonna be having nightmares about the cow mooing noise pretty soon. All right, now this color is pretty translucent, so we're gonna have to let that kind of chill, which is why I wanted to get started on that. Let that start chilling, drying all of the things before we come back and uh, try to hit that up again because that's going to need another coat. It's not as hot in here today. Um, not quite as melty. I think our temperatures are in the um, 80s today instead of the ungodly, oh, what is this, um, like triple digits, so that's good. All right, we're going to turn this bad boy around. And we're going to knock everything everywhere, because that's how we do in this tiny, tiny space. Yeah, okay. Right, so I'm just going to slide that forward a little bit. I really didn't have a good color for this eye. Um, it's almost like a yellow green like bird poop color, but <laughs> um, sunshine yellow is probably the closest that we're going to get. 
and we don't need much. That's for sure. We'll start to get that worked in. And if we're not that good with our circle, well, then the other color that's going to come in around it, we can try to clean that up a bit. Like, I was actually cold trying to sleep the other night. It was nice. To a degree. Until my neck started hurting. <laughs> then it wasn't so nice. But we did manage to squeeze in a lock the other night. I had to run down a bunch of plastic bags to the plastic bag recycle um, bin at the grocery store and on our way back welcome back on the way back we happened to see our original outside furry child that had started visiting us who got kicked out of his territory by the new one and at first I wasn't sure it was him but it kind of fit his territory a little bit more in relation to if he actually belonged to this one lady who said he was hers um, so I yelled to him and he didn't move for a second I'm like oh okay it's not you and then Russell said something to him, and then he came flying over, like, oh my god, it's my people. So, um, he's being a little squirrely, though, as he usually is. He's very hard to read. Sometimes he's, like, happy-ish. And then other times, he's like, don't touch me. But, uh, We felt bad because we didn't have any food for him because, you know, we don't carry cat food on us when we go for our walk. But it seems like we may have to now, a little Ziploc baggie in our pocket. It's like effing Dr. Doolittle over here. We now have raccoons, at least one. There's a band of three that we've seen. But there's at least one that's been coming back nightly. And uh, ever so helpfully, emptying the cat food bowl. Most nights. So that's interesting. We heard a noise out there and we're like, what the fuck? We thought the cat was jumping around, knocking shit over. trying to get our attention and we brought the camera up and no, it was raccoons. I'm like, oh. Well. Huh. As long as they don't rip into the trash, then whatever. If the outside cat's not gonna finish the food in his bowl by a certain time for the night, then uh, that's between him and the raccoons as far as I'm concerned. We did move the bowl closer to the camera in the hopes that the camera would, the camera notification would actually go off like it's supposed to. But uh, I don't know why that hasn't been going off after a certain time, or at least not on the raccoons, I'm not sure. I think they're just out of range. Or 
or maybe it's their coloring, it's not picking them up. I got spooked by the pest control guy, so we've had it on color. That's way too much paint. Um, we've had it on color instead of infrared. Because I was like, I want to be able to get a color still shot of this dude if it comes to it. But he didn't come back anymore. But then other people in other parts had talked about seeing him and I'm like, oh yeah, you had just an open slot today on your way out of town. Sure you did. Sure you did. We really need to get a no soliciting sticker from the city and get put on the do not knock list. I had been taking my time getting up because I thought my mom just was trying to tell me the cat needed food outside or something. But it was awfully late for somebody to be going door to door. I mean, I know the sun hadn't completely set, but who goes door to door at like almost 8.30 at night? It's a little strange. A little strange. Alright, so I'm just taking our pink and uh, tapping it into our gray legs here and letting it do what it's going to do. And the gray is still a little bit wet, so that's fine. My dad had a doctor's appointment scheduled for tomorrow and decided to cancel it. I didn't even realize that tomorrow he had a doctor's appointment. They don't always remind us. We're lucky, we know what day it is. <laughs> I'm supposed to try to make cookies tonight. Let's see if that happens. I gotta see if we have the butter for it. I'm not so sure we do. We do. So I kind of went over our edge a little bit there, but we can clean that up when we come back in to do our outline. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm not sure how the color is going to go on this guy. I think I'm going to have to mix paint because there's parts where it looks like it's light pink. And then there's other parts where he looks coral and not pink. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know about you. And I don't have a light coral, so we might be mixing paint colors here. I thought about just changing them to a different shade altogether. But I did have this corally color that I just kept staring at, and I'm like, you know, when else am I going to use this color? So, oh, that's a terribly, terribly transparent color. Sorry, I'm looking at the eye. I'm like, ooh, eye is like halfway off the screen. I haven't done the cattails yet, or the, the top of the cattails yet, because... 
we need to do some body work first. Most definitely. Are you doing anything with Tyler tonight? Not that I'm aware of. Well, I never know what you two have planned. Do you have game this week? In theory. Okay. I didn't know if it had already been canceled or not. Nope. Okay. Alright, now. Now, now, now. Now, we have this huge chunk of, uh, of black on the beak. Now, I don't quite know what I'm going to do about that. Because we've got our black lining and then it's just going to like a big black blob. So we might we might have to um, do something a little different here to kind of make this work. So we're going to have to turn this guy just a little bit. Oh look, we actually get to see him in his proper orientation for a change. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I've got this antique nickel color that really needs to be shook because it's settled a little bit as it does. From time to time. Let me see. Alright. Um. Lovely noise there. Right, come on. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna have to get my hands dirty again. Okay. And we've got black. I've got all kinds of different brands of black. I've got Apple Barrel, I've got Liquitex. We're good on black. I'm not sure what shade of black we're gonna need, or what bottle we're gonna need. I was actually thinking maybe more like a Payne's Gray on the beak, but I don't have Payne's Gray in this. Alright, so this is probably going to be super transparent. This is one of those colors that usually needs a couple of passes on it. So, alright, so this is white. Alright, um, This is like a pinky color. And then this is going to be a predominantly blackish gray. Now we'll see if we can pull this off because I'm not Sure, we're gonna. We'll see. It just has to have a slight color difference here. Like the inside is fine, but it's our outer edge. It's really going to count. So hopefully, 
You all right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can uh, pull this off here. sure I don't get a little too carried away and get the gray in on the blue. That would be um, a pain, to put it mildly, to attempt to fix. So I'm just trying to get this antique nickel down first. Let's get a base coat of that going. And then we'll come back in here and see what we can do. Yeah, so Wednesday we should be dinging on the Demon Hunter. If all goes well, they're already prepped, they're ready to go. Um, the last one I'm working on right now is the Shaman. Warrior's ready to go. Everybody's car stereos are so loud today. Come on. If I can hear it thumping and feel it thumping in my house, what has that experience got to be like for you in that vehicle? Like, that can't be comfortable. That's got to be terribly, terribly painful. But then again, my ears are also extremely sound sensitive, so. Maybe they're just not bothered. My brain has trouble understanding how they aren't, but maybe they're not. Alright, so we're just gonna give that a minute. And I'm just gonna rinse real quick here. Now it's not, I know it's antique nickel, but it's not a metallic color or anything. Our legs are looking fairly good down there. Alright. So. I'm just gonna give that a second. Now these paints do get a little bit darker as they dry. But some of the shades are a bit transparent. I mean they are cheap paint so they're gonna be. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, so keep that in mind if you go to do this with the craft paints. Some colors are probably going to need a coat or two. Um, I'm very used to working with these guys. So um, that doesn't really bother me. And I kind of understand what I'm getting into. Now, if these are terribly wet, when you're trying to put down another color, sometimes it can start to pull up the other color. Or you're just like sliding paint around and it's not actually sticking, so that's why I'm trying to just give it a minute. Well, we did give it a minute there, but I don't want it to be completely dry. Or what we're trying to do here. I do want this to be 
a little bit grayed down. as best as we can. Like that gray that we put down to start with, it wasn't a bad start, but it wasn't dark enough. So, we kinda have to Mm. Okay. Um, got a little carried away there. We kind of have to play back and forth with our shading just a little bit. At least on our outer edge. Just to kind of have some sort of color separation in here. I'm going to need a little bit happening. Just a bit to make this work. Alright, that's not looking too bad. I think we do need to be a little bit lighter though. I was hoping to pull this off with the grays. So that I didn't have to get the white involved. But we might need a little touch. of the white here. In a couple of spots. We'll see. Right, so I'm still kind of in here with the antique nickel. There's still some black on my brush though from this fuss in here. So that's okay. I'm not certain we're gonna need to add too much more black down in here. We might need just a tiny bit. We'll see. If we do, it's going to have to be very, very little. I mean, we're going to need a little bit more up here in the rest of the Peak area. I might actually add a little bit of our the 
light gray. I could be asking for trouble. But our black's not quite as flowy. When we go to do our outlines, I'm gonna need to uh, water that down a little bit. I'm okay with some black streaking in here. That's fine. Like in the middle. I just don't want this suddenly shifting back to black entirely. It needs to be light enough to see that this is a separation of colors here. I just don't want that to. I don't want the beak shade to bleed into the background and it just not look right. You know, because then it's going to just look like this giant mass of black around the face, it's going to be like, well, where the hell's the beak at, you know? That might have been a little too much. I don't know, we'll see. Everything's still pretty wet on up into here, so. It's pretty good, and I can see a difference between our black up here and our business that we got going down into here. So now we have to try to play with our shading up here. Will we potentially get this dead on since we didn't do this all together? Probably not. But I mean, there's a chance, but this spot up here, this can be darker, because we're not quite as worried about that um, black on the edge there, so. I mean, we don't want it to be blatantly differently shaded. Like, we don't want to clear, like, oh, this is black and this is gray. Like, we can try to smooth them into one another. That would be good. And I know it looks like this color is bleeding on the canvas. It's not. Because I've not added any water into this. I think it's just the way the canvas is right in there. Eh, maybe I should have added an extra coat of gesso, but it already had gesso on there. 
I'm not fully convinced because it's as it's drying it's gonna get lighter but we are light enough here I'm just not I mean we might be but My brain's like, mm, I don't know. Well, I'm back into our our rainy day gray, that light gray that we used on the feet. maybe just a touch lighter yeah because as that was starting to dry I was like I don't know here but, mm, we might have played too conservative with the shading Although now I'm worried that we've gone too far the other way. <laughs> we'll see. We could probably still add some... Some antique uh, nickel back in here. down in here near the tip it's looking exceptionally lighter because all of this had started to dry Now I might try to streak that back a little bit. At least on the interior. It's definitely a, a back and forth tango of seeing who's going to look right here. Because I know it's going to be a little weird because we've got it a little bit lighter than it would be. normally we're trying to be careful that we don't my hand doesn't let go of this brush I don't drop it and end up causing myself more trouble further we go, the harder trouble is going to be to fix. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Just a touch, just a touch, just ever so lightly. Ever so lightly. Alright, I'm going to come back into... 
black here and just kind of this can be darker because I'm just gonna do the outline around the flamingo I'm not gonna break the flamingo up into squares that would look that would be a lot um, not I mean it would be a lot of work but I think to the eye that would be a little much And I think we'd be in the territory of, oh god, this is way too busy. Way too busy. So. And this plaque's actually kind of a little bit dry. It feels like. Which is intriguing. Is it really shouldn't be okay all right so I'm gonna go back into that antique nickel just a little bit just to kind of help Blend these two together. I know my hand's in the way, probably. So let's just hang on to that one second, or it has been this whole time. Either is entirely possible. But I thought you guys would probably like to see him the way he's supposed to be oriented for a change. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad. Oh, my brush is getting sticky. Maybe it's my brush that's starting to dry with the paint in it. That's. Possible, I suppose. Okay, that's probably as as good as that's gonna get. Because we still want the dark black. If when we go to do our outline, it's too dark, then then we'll have to lighten that up from that point. Okay. I mean, I know he looks pretty, he does look pretty dark though, doesn't he? Um, alright, let me just see something real quick. This isn't the brush I'm going to be doing this with. Needs to be a little bit lighter. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Like, oh no, we're good. We're not. No, we're not. At least on this back edge, well, I guess on the entire edge. I went too light. But at least I thought to test it now. Before we got too far. The more I was thinking about it, the more I was like, hmm. So when we go to do the outline, not happening this week, by the way, but when we go to do the outline,
the black paint's going to get a few drops of water in it to uh, help it flow. A bit better. Okay, that's gonna need to move. I can't be. fighting with a non-flowy paint in sections where it needs to flow. So I'm just back in the rainy day gray here. that edge will definitely be a bit easier to work with. Alright, so probably should have put in that uh, test black outline first. So we knew how dark exactly we were going to need to go. This paint's pretty good about being layered up upon. So, so far, so good for the most part. And I know some of you are like, oh my god, you're still painting this pink. Yeah, I am. Because of how we're... Because of the next steps coming later, this section, the shading needs to be right. Like, if it's too dark, it's gonna have to get redone. Redone. It's gonna need a do-over. So quite honestly, I would rather get this sorted now. And have to fuss with it later. When I think we're ready to start doing our line work, so... If it drives you that crazy, this will be archived on the YouTube channel. Same name is here, Nisi BGM. will be on the Nisi Paints playlist, and you can just come back and rewatch it later. Don't forget to like and subscribe over there. We are a long way from even hoping 
to being able to monetize that channel in a long, long way. Embarrassingly long. Now I don't live stream over there. We do the live streams here. Although I guess it doesn't matter that that channel is not monetized because my highest viewed video ever can't be monetized, so I guess it's all good in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, that highest ranked video is never going to be able to be monetized, so because it was a machinima. And since I didn't own the song that I used... Alright, you have a good night, sir. Thank you for popping in. You probably said that forever ago. Apologies. I thought I had timestamps on on the chat for me, but it seems I don't. Which is weird. Alright, I think, yeah, we can see the, the shade difference there now, so that'll be good. I think we're finally getting this to where it needs to be. That's the hope here. <laughs> right, I'm just going to get just a tiny bit of water on my brush here. The brush seems to be a little bit drier than I would like it to be. Like I can see it. Dragging along the edge of, well, along the canvas grain, I can see that. And I'm kind of okay with that to a degree. It's in a spot where I'm like, hmm, why are you being that way? It's a little more noticeable in that spot. Just a little bit. Okay, 
think I still need to. This color. Send it in here. Yeah, I don't think this is a. brush thing. I mean, it could be, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so I just grab a teeny bit water on the tip of the brush. Just gonna smooth this guy. Out a bit. Am I hearing noises from outside? Am I crazy? I'm not sure. Like the whole time those kids live next door they like never made a peep hardly. At least recently. So I don't know if I'm hearing shit. Or if it's them. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll clean up our brush from there. And then we'll wipe that off real good. Okay, so yellow we're pretty much done, although I think we might need one more go on that, maybe. I don't know yet. Okay, so we kind of got the beak sorted. Um, I'm gonna grab... What do I want to grab here? Um, let's grab our decrepit white that sounds way too watery than it should be. And let me just, oh, that's crumbly. Let some paint dry around the scalp here. That's okay. That's gonna happen. Anybody that's worked with the craft paints knows that. So we're just gonna get a little bit of the white. Alright, so I think in this section we're gonna Grab a little bit of our white paint. And it's going to be hard to see this. At first. And we're going to grab a little bit of that pink that we were using. <laughs> Sorry, there was a blobby of paint that I wanted to get out of there. So I'm going to kind of hit this up with a mixture of this light pink. And this white. I may have to switch whites because this white 
is very gloppy. And I should have a bunch of other white paint here. That we can pull from, so it's not a huge disaster. I'm just kind of getting a uh, yeah, we're gonna have to switch white because that's a little too. That's behaving, misbehaving a little too much. Um, all right, so give me one second. I need to bend it down to go digging through my drawers. bottle of white. Why not? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so I'm going to test. That sounds better. I think that one we're going to have to discard because it's a bit past its prime. Alright. Probably gonna need to... Oh yeah, that's where... That was nowhere near as glompy. Okay. Alright. I'm just kind of getting a base coat in of the white. Kind of working on filling in our, filling in over our pencil line here. Now you're most likely not gonna see this pink color very well and that's okay because there's going to be another color coming in over top of this that will take care of that but I'm also using this just to kind of help Clean up our edges here on our dark sections of our beak. Sorry, he feels kind of far away from me since I have him properly orientated. You guys can kind of see what's happening a little bit. easier here. In the meantime, he just feels so very far away. And I am not making that any better. There we go. Alright. And get a little bit more white in here. It'll make more sense as we get there, I hope. So we're working on the face. That is our reference photo that we took at the Tulsa Zoo. I'm not sure if I need to zoom in on that for you guys. If I do, feel free to let me know. So. We will. 
Mm. Yep, and this. Kind of worked into here. Carefully, 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 carefully. We'll work down to here. Uh, Arby's. They don't have the money for that. Well, apparently your mother does. <sighs> so. They do know that I don't normally eat from there, right? Yes, but your mother wants that, so. All right. Uh, do I need to get you something else and we save the dough for tomorrow, or? Like, I'm already going to be down into town. Um. Uh, the only other thing that I would want down that way is going to be more than I'm willing to ask her for. She's sending me to Arby's. It's going to be costly. What did you want? Panda. Okay. But that's like, that's a lot, so. Yeah. For what I get. Alright, so what, what do you get? Orange chicken? No. No. Uh, uh, broccoli beef. Beef and broccoli. Yes. They call it broccoli beef. Yeah, you get it. With uh, white rice. Okay. Uh, it, it's up to you. It's you that or we can do the pizza. I, I don't yeah, no, really fine. care. Had I known she was getting us dinner, I wouldn't have made pizza. Like, I wouldn't have made pizza dough. Oh, my mother. Okay. So, I mean, the face is kind of corally, though, so I don't know if I want to. Oh, hang on. That's really is separated. <laughs> That's separated more than I expected it to be. I don't know when I've used this color in the last. All right, sometimes you need to tap the top of the bottle just to get all the air bubbles up so that when you go to squirt some out air bubbles aren't like pushing it all out of the f everywhere like a volcano of paint going off all right so kind of I might blend a little bit of the coral into this just so it matches the rest of the face a bit better about that here in just a minute. We might not have needed to work in that light pink at all. Like 
this paint might have been more than enough. All right, I'm gonna have to turn him because it's kind of hurting my neck here to. reach quite that far and I can't really afford a neck migraine today I still have quite a few things I need to get done here This is the same brush that we used last week. The um, number three, I guess it's a round. Starting to get a little wild west on the end of it, but it's not our main lining brush here, so that's okay. Alright, so we've got that kind of. worked into there. I am going to hit this a little bit more because I realized that um, this particular section doesn't need to have quite as much white in it as I was thinking it would do. Alright, so I just grabbed a little bit of the white. And I'm just kind of trying to blend that guy in there. So he's going to look a little. A little funny. Let me get this feathered in here. This seems very pink, but we still have one more color to kind of attempt to feather in here. I'm just going to do a quick rinsey boo and a blot off.
Right, so we've got the color. Eh, I guess that's okay. This color. And then down into here, we're gonna have some white on the edge of the face here in just a minute. in there. I thought I was seeing things at first. And then I wasn't so sure if it was attached to my brush. I was like, uh oh. What the hell is this now? Okay, so I'm just gonna come back in with a little bit of white. And just kind of start to maybe work that in around the edge of our pink, just so it's not quite so harsh of a transition. I mean, I know it looks a bit harsh on the animal itself, but maybe we can soften that just a touch or two. This is going to be a little muddy, and it's probably going to need a couple of passes right there, because we're pretty heavy on the graphite edge there. Alright, clean that up. Alright, now... Get our coral color here. Mm. Okay. I think we're gonna need to grab another palette here. This guy. I know we just went to all this trouble to get this pink in here. This would be more or less a mixture of these guys. Hopefully, it doesn't completely backfire on me here. Because it certainly could.
Let's hope everybody's weekend's been going okay. trying to kind of blend in that pink just a little bit where we can but yeah this guy is definitely gonna be pretty orange didn't look that orange in the bottle but it kinda goes with the photo, so can't be can't be too mad at it. Not really. And again, sorry I had to turn him again. My neck was getting a little angry at how I was reaching across to uh, work on him. Sometimes that's just the way things are. Alright. So we do art here at the moment, one day a week on Sunday. I'm looking to start um, increasing that in the future. Hopefully. At least that's the plan. Hopefully we can make that happen. Depends on how infuriating the Perkitect campaigns get. I'm thinking of adding in our other art day on um, on uh, Thursdays. We'll see. We'll see, of course. All of that is up in the air at the moment. Depends on a few things. A few more games coming out that I want to take a look at. Although that might be moving to Wednesdays for a little bit um, with the other games that we want to look at. So 
just kind of playing back and forth with our pinks and our coral and our white. Just kind of getting that blended to a level that we're happy with. I might have to come back and trim up my edge here because my edge is starting or my point starting to get a little well worn, shall we say. But you know, it was a cheap brush, so I can't complain too hard. Brushes, you kind of get what you pay for. For the most part, and I'm a bit rough on the brushes for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna sit that one over there. Now we're gonna come into our white. And yes, there are, in fact, two. I saw the fuzz. I saw the shadow of the fuzz that way. Um, there are two whites on our palette here. Because the one got funky. Like it got a little too. It like started to do like little paint chips in the paint, so and that happens. That that bottle of white is very very old. So that is not not at all surprising. And these brushes aren't anything special, they're just, you know, brushes I picked up for acrylic painting. They were cheap off of Amazon. These are Transcend. I, I, I don't know if I'd recommend them yet. I haven't used them enough. I'd probably recommend getting something a little more expensive because I have had to do surgery on one of them so far where there was a weird bristly scratchy um, fiber in there it was leaving a very strange um, like streaky line through everything. I just didn't want to be a team player. These, these ones, this particular set that I picked up, they are synthetic. I don't know if all of them are. Like all of the ones they offer. Because there was a couple different sets. They might all be synthetic. But yeah, I just don't know. If I could say I would recommend them yet. I have to see how their use goes. Kind of surprised that this one's getting quite so fuzzy worn on the end. I didn't think we were being that rough on it. So that does surprise me. So I know it's hard to see because we're putting white paint down on a white surface. But you can kind of see our pencil lines sort of muting down. That's where we're painting. 
at the moment. Kind of filling in here. Now this is probably going to take a couple of coats because we have our. I did go heavy-handed on our our sketch so that you guys could see it. But if you are doing something similar, definitely go lighter. I mean, go dark enough that you can see it. But light enough so that it's not going to be a problem for you. I mean, sometimes you can go over with a kneaded eraser and just kind of stick the kneaded eraser over and like kind of like silly putty and just kind of like like press it down over your sketch lines and it'll pull up some of the excess. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't appear to do all that much kind of depends on your surface and how heavy of a hand you were and um, what hardness or softness of lead that you had used too. So. Those are all factors. Alright, so while that's kind of drying, we've got our white that comes up in there, our, our edge of our nose here, actually the way the light is hitting it, kind of looks A little bit of a pinkish hue. So I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of our what was that? Is that the is that the princess pink? Yeah, that was Princess Pink. It's just a very faint, light, delicate pink, kind of like a baby pink. Maybe a little bit pinker than a baby pink. How far up does this go? Kind of all the way up through front of our nose here. Alright, so if we don't get all of this outer edge of um, sketch covered. Not necessarily the end of the world, because we can come back in with our outline and fix that, but the, the inner ones would probably be more of a concern to make sure that you've got enough coats over them. Just to make sure that you've got your bases covered here. So 
sorry if I'm a little whistly when I'm breathing. My sinuses are terrible. And it's been that kind of day. Uh, kind of a day. So, I'm not too far on the microphone and blowing my nose at this point isn't going to do much. This has been an ongoing battle with my nasal cavities all day. Alright, so I'm just grabbing some more of our white and just kind of coming back in over the front of our face just a little bit while that pink is still a little bit wet. And just kind of getting a rough blend of the two of them together. And that should also help with any potential remaining muddiness. from that pencil. I think I used an F, so I was kind of surprised it left as much down as it did, because usually B is like your softer, but I guess it wasn't quite as hard as an H. So, that's probably why it left as much as it did. Alright, just doing a quick little maintenance rinse there. And that'll help get out any of the remaining pink. That was in there. Now we did have a thing here on the eye where our yellow wasn't quite um, handling covering up that sketch line too well. But We're going to be able to work with that here in just a minute. So if you wanted um, to cover your sketch lines and potentially, you know, one go, maybe go with a thicker body paint, that might help, or like I said earlier, be a little bit lighter with your sketch. Just the tip. Okay. 
and on our photo, our guy here has a little bit of an outline. around his eye. It's sort of in our corally color. have to use a slightly delicate hand here. That's not bad. Alright, now there is a center of the eye. It's like one little dot. So um, we'll, we'll deal with that after that's all dry and stuff. Now we're kind of waiting for white to dry to figure out if we need another coat we can start to get in our base of our flamingo -y guy now I haven't decided how much we're going to fuss over the um, the actual shading of him. Like I know we were fussing over the beak, but the beak had to be fussed because of the, um, is it being a black surface and uh, the outline is going to be black. Right now I'm just kind of working on getting a base coat worked in on our flamingo body here. Because we're probably going to have to do two coats on this guy. And I did grab a couple different shades of pink because I wasn't sure what all we were going to need. I might just have to um, mix some white into this and grab one of my other brushes that I have uh, freed the ends of accidentally with how I was um, blending in colors on another painting I did. Again, I don't have very many expensive brushes, so I don't feel so bad about fucking up the uh, bristles on it. I mean, I do feel slightly bad because I'm like, damn. You know, I, I bought this for, for a reason, but it is serving its purpose.
trying to have a steady of a hand. as I can on our outer edge. I mean, I know we're going to come back over it, but I also don't, don't want to just start slapping paint everywhere and get it somewhere that's going to be rather difficult to undo. Oh yeah, we're just going to base coat our coral on up here around the head now. I do see a little bit of muddied grayness on the edge and that's from the uh, the graphite the graphite from the pencil getting picked up I mean I could have tried to go over that again with another eraser or even like um, a slightly damp paper towel I don't think it's going to be all that much of an issue for us here. I think when we come back in with our second coat here, it will be just fine. Never enough time in the day. And that's for certain. After dinner, I need to take a look at what house chores still need to be done for today. And I need to go butter hunting in the freezer. I'm not sure. If the box of butter I asked to be left there is still there. If it is, then I will probably be making gingerbread cookies tonight. We had two boxes left from from Christmas that are going to go out of date before from last Christmas that'll go out of date before next Christmas or this coming Christmas so I kind of need to use them or drop them off at the pantry like I need to do something with them Let me take a damn 
full stick of butter, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, or half a stick, I think it's a full stick. But the recipe on, on the box isn't quite right. Because they're like, oh, do this for rolled out cookies. Oh, if it's not firm enough, throw it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Yeah, no, I have to put it, I have to add flour to it and then, and then put it in the freezer for like an hour to get it to where it can be rolled out. So I'm like, you all are full of shit. I followed your directions <laughs> to a T. I hate it when the directions are like, yeah, it's supposed to be like this, and then, you know, you're, you definitely don't have that. And you're like, did I fuck something up, or did they fuck something up? And then you're just trying to think of some way to salvage it. Like, I don't know about this, guys. Because it's not, it, it's one of those um, mixes that could be for cake or cookies. It's a primarily cake mix, but they're like, oh no, you can do cookies if you do it this way. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I think you're box directions for turning this into cookies is slightly off, but sure, like, I don't think we're, like, I don't think I need to be using the altitude directions, the high altitude directions, because I didn't really think we were that high here. I mean, we're not on a mountain per se. We can see mountains around us, like the one street, if you look down it, you don't necessarily see sky, you see mountain. So, I mean, we're kind of in a slight valley, if anything. gentle and very careful coming around our edges here and like I said we're we'll have to do a second coat on this guy where I start Mixing some shades together. But we're not going to do that today. But I want to make sure that our body has a base coat. At the very least. before we start trying to tap in our different shade possibilities here. If I end up doing that, like I kind of think we should. At least to some degree. We're 
probably help with any lingering streakiness if there is any although we've been pretty good with the streakies for the most part For the most part. Ooh. All right, we'll have to try to clean that up a little bit there. So I was saying we have to be careful about just slapping paint around when we're near our edges. And we can use the more interior areas to kind of dab off any extra. All right, so this cattail is actually going to be behind our guy. So this one, we may need to... Uh, see about before we go any further with shading. The body. That'll be next week though. Most definitely. more of our color here. So, I mean, it's not a bad flamingo color. It's pretty close to our shading in the photo. He's drying a little bit darker as this paint does. It's always good to swatch your stuff because what it looks like through the bottle or tube if your tube is clear can be quite different when it dries and those little sticker swatches on the outside are also not entirely accurate with some paint brands Is definitely better off swatching that shit. Like even colored pencils, I would say you'd probably want to at least do a tiny swatch. just to get a feel for what the shade really is when it goes down on paper. I mean, some people don't bother swatching until they are looking for the shades for their project. And then some people like to swatch the second they get the stuff. So they have a swatch card already done and that they can just dive in.
you do what works better for you. Or if you just want to live dangerously and don't squatch at all, then hey. Whatever. If that's how you want to roll, then that's how you want to roll. What I really should have done was... when I made my, or when I swatched these colors, because now they're in a sketchbook and I'm not entirely sure what a sketchbook is, I probably should have cut them out, like the little squares of the color, and taped them to the lids. At the time, I don't know, for some reason I just couldn't be bothered, or something. I don't know what was going on that day. I mean, I was going to the trouble to swatch them anyhow, I probably should have just... Oh, come on, you're gonna put out more paint than I want you to, anyhow. See, that sometimes it gets stringy when it starts to get older. You can still use it, just, you know, be mindful that it's going to be a little bit stringy. The stringy shouldn't carry over. To your paint, though, you should still be able to grab the wet paint around it. But that can happen with these. They're still plenty usable. At least for our purposes here today. I'm going to leave just a little bit. Well, I mean, we don't have to. But that's going to get lined in right there. It's going to get outlined. So that edge doesn't have to be dead on perfect. Don't forget, anytime if you think your paint might have been hanging around in your brush for a little long, not sure if it's starting to dry on up in there, go ahead and do a maintenance rinse. Because if you think your brush is wanting a rinse, and it might very well be. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep on sliding through here. And I'm working on this guy, so he's, he's really popping now that he's got 
his pink coming in here. Now, would a bigger brush get this done faster? Probably. But then I'd have two brushes dirty because I really need this. Well, okay, I really prefer the smaller brush guy. When working with our edge here. I just don't feel like swapping back and forth between the two. So we're getting there. Like I said, next week I'll I'll mix a a lighter shade of this and then we'll we'll grab my other brush that's kind of messy and uh, we'll tap those two shades like the base shade and the lighter shade in together just to get some slight color variation. I mean, we could just leave him like this and take our, and like take a uh, much, much lighter version of this color and do a, a, a wash over it. I don't know if I want to do that though, cause I kinda, would prefer that that he keep his, his poppiness to him. You all right? Uh huh. Uh, I took. Uh, I spent a lot of time at uh at the uh, drive-through for. Uh, the Chinese. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just they had one guy who did an order and apparently they had to do it custom. Go inside. <laughs> if it's gonna be that fucking. All right. So, um, what do I need to do about your food? Uh, just leave it on the stove. Or I'll be stopping here shortly. Okay. Did you eat? Did you get food? Yeah, I ate on the way home. Am I still home? doing pizza? Yeah. And he walked away. <laughs> All right, so we're just filling in. Do we still need to do pizza for you? I don't know no. if you're full or not. No, I. All right, what are we doing about the sauce? Uh, it should be fine over overnight. I think it will be, but I'm checking for you. Well, my thing is that's why I put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So that way it never approaches a temperature I have to care about. So mm -hmm. no, I'm okay with it overnight. Okay. Um, do me a favor though. What's up? Um. Do we have like any plastic wrap or anything that we can put over? the um the dough uh, or do I, you do we have any ziploc bags that we can bag. all right put just the tiniest tiniest drop of oil in the bag and then put the dough in or if the dough seems oily enough then put it how about i wait till you're done man you okay because i just don't want it to stick in the bag all right you guys so we might not finish doing our base coat here today. Because I am starving and I would like to go eat dinner. But 
feels so super. Can't waste any paint. But my mom foiled our our plans yet again. I don't know why she insists on wanting takeout on Sundays so much. Like she knows I'm doing something, so. But it's starting to become pretty regular, pretty regular thing on Sundays. And then she seems surprised that I'm doing something. I'm like, like she said to Russell, "Oh, is she doing something?" Russell's like, "Yeah." Like, I really do want to try to use this up a bit if we can. Alright, well, I mean, I can always finish that part off stream if need be, because we're just kind of putting in the base on our mango -y guy. So, that's it for today. Next week, we'll, um, we'll tap in our shades of our coral. And um, we'll get our our cattails done here, and that might take a good portion of next week. So I don't know if we'll start outlining next week. We'll have to see how things go. If not, then it will be the week after. But we're getting closer, guys. We're getting very closer. And yeah, you can see the difference between the black outline now and the beak, so that worked out well there. So with that, um, I don't think anybody's, no, um, nobody's on the list that I feel like popping in and saying hi to at the moment. So you guys have a good night. I will see you Wednesday for, um, for our WoW Challenges stream. And until then, have a good week.